Hello, my name is Naya Allen. I'm here at the Youth Urban Academy with um, Isidore Hall and, and Don Buford. Don Buford. <laughs> and I'm here to ask them some questions. Sure. So what do you think, what is this um, event for? Well, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let my, uh, my leader uh, start first and then I'll, I'll, I'll take a shot at it. Well, the event is to, <laughs> to uh, be a part of the community and help demonstrate that we have a tremendous feel for all people in, all, in the community. And they're coming from all different uh, zip codes, in fact, yeah. all, over the, all over the city. And uh, it's, it's a matter of giving back in a way just like we try to do with our Major League Baseball Urban Youth Academy. We, yeah. we try to give back and, and help the young people learn and become better citizens and through basically baseball and softball. So there's so many programs we have to, to help institute that. Uh, so, and then we've had the uh, partnership that's going with uh, YP. And what, what YP is, is also Yellow Pages, and we're rebranding ourselves as YP, and we're promoting the new downloadable app via your phone, so it's a free app, and basically that big old phone is on your, it, that big old book, excuse me, is on your phone, and you can reach out to 18 million businesses. So that's what YP is. Yeah, and also uh, it's a tremendous uh, venture yeah. And also the City Hall of Compton is, is part of it. Uh, Everybody is contributing, so this right. is a great day. Yeah. And, 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 and Mr. Buford is absolutely right, and thank God for him and the Urban Youth Academy, uh, the City of Compton, YP, and so many other people who have come out. Um, Urban Youth Academy has been doing a great job. They've been here eight years, and I was actually here for the opening of this of the center. And uh, my fraternity, Omega Psi Phi, uh, uh, we started uh, the turkey giveaway nine years ago, and we've been doing it every year consist consistently. And this year we decided to, to go bigger. And, and that's when the Urban Youth Academy said, you know what, you can't go bigger without us. And they stepped right in, and I mean, boy, are we here today in a boy like never before. And so we certainly couldn't uh, do this without Mr. Buford and Urban Youth Academy and our other sponsors and supporters as well. And uh, we're, just, we're just honored to be here. We just honored to be here. And, and by the way, we're giving out 5,000 turkeys. At and, least. And, at least. <laughs> and, I, and I was saying that if you multiply that 5,000 turkeys times at least five people is going to eat off of each turkey, you know, you're, 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 you, are, you are feeding well over 35 to 45,000 uh, mouths uh, this holiday season. So this is no short order. It's pretty significant to our community. I'm just glad I don't have to cook for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lena Washington, and my question is, what advice can you give other children? You know what, first of all, uh, Progress California is a nonprofit organization uh, that I, I started about uh, five, six years ago, and it deals in the area of obesity and diabetes <clears throat> for, for younger kids. And one of the advice, one, one piece of advice that I sh I, I'd like to give is to make sure you exercise, make sure you eat right, make sure you watch your calorie intake, uh, and then also make sure that in all things that you do, you give back to your community. Um, it's one thing to be uh, in the community, it's another thing to serve and give back to the community, like you all are doing, and like so many other people here uh, that's volunteering. We have over 150 volunteers today uh, that are doing and giving back to their community. You know, one of the key things is uh, uh, the Urban Youth Academy. We really have uh, from age 7 through 18, and we take care of most of those young boys and girls that are interested in playing softball and baseball. It's unfortunate we don't have the other sports, but that's what we are, and uh, Major League Baseball provides that opportunity. It's, it's a free situation. It doesn't cost. It's just a matter of getting the young adults to come here learn their skills. We also provide tutoring, which helps out for kids to maintain their grades so they can be eligible for the sports they're participating in. And also, uh, we just had this past, uh, well, actually, about a week ago, we had 11 young men sign letters of intent to go to college, so that's a big deal. And then uh, in the Major League draft itself, we yeah. had four young men that signed in the top ten within the last two years. So wow. we're, we're contributing in some manner and yeah. trying to help. I, I can't tell you how many others have gone on to college because it's uh, a feat that uh, continues to happen. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to improve on and, and help develop the life skills of young people, young yeah. adults, and become better people. 
And that's pretty significant when you think about that. You know, there's so many people because we're uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, uh, one of the lower socioeconomic communities of the county, uh, a lot of people do not give back. Uh, like Mr. Buford and others, and so it's pretty uh, pretty significant when uh, people know that they can come right here in our community and not only learn how to play ball, but to learn how to communicate with people, how to be a team player, exactly. uh, all these other type of skills that are transferable, right. and 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 they learn it right here. And so so it's no it's again another it's no short order that they're here, and certainly the work that they do here can in no way, shape, or form be minimized. It's really really uh, a great opportunity for so many kids and young adults in our community, and and they're they're not just coming here, but they're leaving here with tools to help prepare them for a better life wherever they go right I, I have to I have to compliment uh, Compton College here too it's, uh, we're part of their venue here and part of the fact that uh, their young men and young yeah. uh, women play softball and baseball here using yeah. the facility and of course that's a free situation too yeah but you can get an education going through junior college as well right. and here's a beautiful place they're redeveloping and, and uh, refurbishing and uh, I, it's a place that you'd want to go to uh, yeah. and get a better education. Yeah. So, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I have a question. Uh, did you guys grow up in Compton? Uh, I did. Uh, I was born and raised here um, in Compton. Uh, I served on the school board. Um, I served on the city council, and now in the California, and now in the California State Assembly. Um, I was born here, raised here, uh, went to school, got a bachelor's, got a master's, got a doctorate degree, uh, and stayed right here in my community and, uh, and gave back to my community. And so uh, the myth that says that you can't be raised in Compton and do something with your life is totally wrong. And it's, it's asinine to think that you can't. Uh, you can be young, and my mother raised me by herself, uh, and, and great things happen. So if you have a determin some determination, and you have good role models, like Mr. Buford and others that are investing in the lives of kids, you can come here, live here, raise here, and go out of here doing some amazing things. Exactly right, and I, I happen to go to 28th Street Elementary School, which is just a few miles down the road, and ended up going to Dorsey High School, and I also yeah. ended up going to USC, and. And I, I and know I never I never take the word can't and right. cannot because that doesn't exist. Right, if right. If you right. have a desire and a positive attitude and approach to it, you can be successful. And, and everybody is successful in different ways. Absolutely. So uh, there's no such a thing as can't and cannot. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for you. this interview. No, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thanks, huh?